Hey dosers, my name is Paige Payne. I'm one of our young adult pastors. Recently at church, I walked away from a conversation and I was like, oh my gosh, I wish I could go back and pull all of those words and take them back because that was such an awkward interaction. Or I don't know, maybe you've ever been in an argument and you just like threw out some words that maybe you didn't even mean and you were like, oh my gosh, now this argument is gonna go on forever. I just should not have said that. Oh, I wish I could go back. And right now we're in a series called The Lost Art of Blank. And I wanna share with you the lost art of holding your tongue. And uh, this comes from Proverbs. I really feel like God who created all of the world and he wrote wisdom into everything, even like how human interaction could go. And he says, let me just, it's like his little advice column of like, this will literally help you in life. If you wanna avoid calamity, if you wanna av avoid folly, if you just want things to be a little more smooth for you, Follow the things in Proverbs. In Proverbs 21, 23, it says this just so simply. It says, watch your words and hold your tongue. You'll save yourself a lot of grief. If you want to read through an entire Proverbs and just see a lot about what the tongue and what words and all that kind of stuff, I, I would really recommend Proverbs 18. He says things like this, fools find no pleasure in understanding, but delight in their own opinions. The lips of fools bring them strife and their mouths invite a beating. The mouths of fools are their undoing and their lips are a snare to their very lives. The words of a gossip are like choice morsels. They go down to the inmost parts. Then he says to answer before listening, this is folly and shame. And so if we want to just avoid some life grief, I just really feel like this is God's kindness of, hey, if, if you want a little insight into what life with me looks like, just hold your tongue a little bit. My mom, when we were growing up, she sat my brother and I down and we had gotten in this big fight and had said really mean things to each other. And she had us, this is like so classic. So parents, take this one. I still remember it to this day. Uh, but she, she took a toothpaste like bottle and she had to squirt it out and she's like now go take all of that and put it right back in and she was asking us to do something impossible and it was just to illustrate this like once something comes out there's no taking it back we can say sorry we can have forgiveness but once it's out in the open like you can't take it back and so I just want to encourage us as we're people who are living in community with one another where our words either bring life or they bring death which is what proverbs tell us when we say something out loud, we can't take it back. But if we can think and craft and have something wise and thought through and thoughtful to say and then share it, what a win. It's, I think we've come to this place where we have this idea that to be authentic and to be real, we have to say every single thing that we think and feel in the name of love. And that isn't totally loving. I feel like we find through this Proverbs and through many Proverbs in Scripture and even Jesus' example himself, sitting in a courtroom, being accused of a lot of things that he didn't do, some that he did do, but rightfully so. And Jesus just sat there and he held his tongue. He showed us this example that to be authentic and to be loving doesn't mean that you say every single thing you think. And so, dosers, I just would love to encourage you in the name of love for your neighbor and in the name of finding life the way that God has designed it and has shown us in his kindness of writing Proverbs, what would it look like today to take a moment, think about what you're going to say, and instead of just blabbering on and on and on and on like so many of us do, just trying to fill conversation space, what if we were really intentional that our words could either bring life or death? And if you have any questions, if you have nothing nice to say, just don't say it at all. I um, just want to encourage you that that's actually something from the Bible. Love you guys.